And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing another brick in the mall. All right, it's time to work on a clothing store. And so let's look at the clothing here. We've already taken care of jewelry, so jewelry is just fine. Uh, men's shoes has a little bit more demand than I think it did last time. That's interesting how that switches over. Uh, women's lingerie, however, uh, might need... I think I'm going to match lingerie with dresses. And that way we can sell kind of the women's stuff together. Uh, the men's shoes. Uh, let's just get this done here. So we're going to build... There's going to be three different stores in here. Uh, so let's get the checkout counters running first. So we have one, two, three... And then let's see, let's leave a gap. And one, two, three, leave a gap. One, two, three. It's a lot of money. Uh, as far as sales goes, uh, yesterday was still a pretty good day. Pretty good day. So, first is the men's shoes, and that needs a shelf. Uh, yep, men's shoes. So this is going to be the men's shoes store. Well, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Now, if we want other things, one, two, oh, I'm going to take that away, build that. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's seven out of eleven. Oh, I think we can we can manage that. So now it's the women's shoe store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna need uh, is women's lingerie in here? It is. Uh, so this is gonna be the women's lingerie store down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So clothing rack. If this is the women's shoe store, uh, let's look at our needs again. So we have the men's shoe store. We're going to match that up with probably t-shirts and pants. The women's shoe store, there's a lot of potential sales there. So we don't need to match it up with too many things. Uh, so we're probably going to do women's shoes and maybe jackets and coats, probably. Because there's those are very low sales, very low demand. Uh, so men's shoes with t-shirt and pants. So let's. Uh, I want to get these done here. Um, we're gonna assign this store uh, to here. No, no, no. Proceed. Uh, store. Here, here, and here. <clears throat> okay, so store, store, store. So this store will be, let's assign the storage. This is going to be uh, men's shoes. This is going to be women's shoes this is going to be the women's lingerie uh, so this is going to be uh, buggy's secret okay okay men's shoes so products for shelf clothing men's shoes Okay, then we want t-shirts, t-shirts, pants, pants. So the women's shoes, same deal, women's shoes.
This is like the most time consuming part of this whole game right here. And then this one is going to be, what do I want this one to be? So we have men's shoes, we have t-shirts and pants. Women's shoes has quite a lot to demand, so we're going to do jackets and coats, I think, with this one. So we need to build clothing rack. And then... Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have jackets and coats. We have dresses, shirts, and men's underwear, which has very, very little demand. So I think that can go with women's lingerie pretty well. Uh, why are you paused? You should not be paused. Um, okay, so if we go through here. Uh, coats needs a rack. Men's underwear needs a shelf, though. So let's build... Let's build another shelf here, and then I think rack, rack, and rack. Oh, let's uh, speed her up. Okay, so this was jackets, jackets, coats, coats, and this was women's lingerie here okay and then we want men's underwear dresses uh, shirts was that was that right Yeah, I think so. I don't think I had shirts shirts anywhere. Um, and then maybe... Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter what, it, what the next one is. We're going to be able to meet demand anyway. So let's just have another... What was this one? Dresses, shirts, and we're, let's just do another one of dresses. That'll take care of all of that. Okay, so that's the storage. That's the storage. And storage there. Okay, so all of them have storages now. Uh, and now we're gonna pause because now we need cashiers and stock clerks, and I don't want the I don't want the day to roll over into the new day and then miss my opportunity for stocking all of this stuff. So, staff, hire stock clerk. All right, this is going to be a little painful. Um, stock clerk, you start. Let's do zone first. There we go. Okay, staff, stock clerk starting out right away. Staff, stock clerk. Uh, good speed, horrible sociability, you are a stock clerk. And then Buggy Secret, stock clerk. Oh, you have great, great stock clerk skills. But you also have very good sociability. Ooh, another good sociability here. Ooh, look at that. You are the person of the day. Okay, so now we have a stock clerk. What is, so women's shoes probably is going to be the most, uh, going to get the most traffic. So I'm going to add a second stock clerk here just because uh, we're going to need probably another stock clerk a little later in the day um, just to make sure everything is stocked up. But these other stores shouldn't get enough traffic to really warrant multiple stock clerks. But they also need three cashiers, so there's a cashier every day. Okay, sociability. We got some really good sociability going on here. So hire cashier, hire cashier, and oh, good sociability. You're you're gonna be a good cashier. So there's three cashiers for you, and we need. 
three here as well. Probably a fourth. I would guess probably need a fourth cashier. So there's two on on staff during the beginning of the or during the rush rush time of the day, which is a little later. Okay, we're running low on our sociability here. So we're gonna you're gonna be the later one. And then one more for middle, you know, middle to the end of the day. So you are going to be somewhere like starting at noon. Oh, let's start you a little later. Let's start you after lunch. And then Buggy's Secret. We've already got a stock clerk going. This is going to be lingerie. So what is our need for? Yeah, see, our need for lingerie is not not excessive so uh we don't really need a whole lot of cashiers for this so you're gonna start sociability you'd make a great janitor but you know other other things are important so well you're pretty good there we go so there's one cashier uh, on call on staff at all times and then a second one for the high volume women's shoe store um, because 36 people that's that's a lot of that's a lot of sales okay let's start her back up again and now that we've paused it our stock clerks should, our stock clerks and cashiers should come in now one thing I've noticed is the stock clerk if you just have a stock clerk show up they won't actually start stocking shelves until until a cashier shows up or something like that. Uh, that was something I noticed in a previous previous game. Uh, let's build a couple more doors in here just to give a little extra So as soon as the new day rolls around, we should start seeing a little bit of movement. And look at that profit, 23,900, another new record. Um, we still have a little bit of time left for sales. Not a whole lot of sales, though. Um, it is very, very early. It's near midnight. But still, 23613 another beautiful amount of money for that day. All right, now we've got some more. We've got our stock clerks coming in, starting to stock our shelves, which is excellent. There we go. Looks like they start stocking, you know, in the order. Well, maybe they stock them in order we, we uh, send them in. Maybe they don't. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm, I'm guessing this did great yesterday. Yeah, six grand. Because we've got a couple of these that are low. So we had a lot of sales. All right, the shoes are going in. So let's build and destroy these. Did I cover men's underwear over here? I think I did. Yep, I did. All right, our first sale. Look at that. It's excellent. As we get these shelves stocked up, these are going away. And I think it might be time to take this whole store out of commission. Because I don't see a need to keep this store around anywhere anymore. So we're going to remove foundations. And we are going to remove all of that and all of this. So that takes care of everything there. And uh, we also want to remove the road work in here. We don't need this anymore. Uh, these stalkers are coming in and going to be just leave right away. No, see, everything is going to be destroyed here, dude. You got to get out of here. Oh, 
All right. Oh, the other builder did a little bit and then left. Done for the day. Okay, that store is no more. Now we just got to remove this road work in here. Don't need it anymore. And the staff that was fired, I can then come over here and rehire in other stores. Where is our other cashier? Where's our cashier at? What in the world? I should have had a cashier come in at 8 and they only came in or they didn't actually come in. Well, that is ridiculous. Where did that cashier go? That's a whole lot of sales that I've missed out on. There you go. You're a little late. We need some sales up in here. Pay for all this good stuff. And my stock clerks didn't get all these all these shelves stocked before the end of the day, unfortunately. They got all the laundry, they all got all the, the important stuff in, but Oh, we got a lot of people here. Look at that. More and more people are coming to have an excellent time here. I'm gonna look at something before before I go quarter counter food cooking range. Yeah, you can't rotate the cooking range. Uh, and I don't think you can you can't you can't rotate those either. Order counter. You can can rotate the order counters. But the cooking range is not so much. So I'm thinking Instead of making this my tools, I want to make this the, this will be like the kitchen for the fast food. These will be the order counters. I'll probably have the order counters stick out a little bit just because we're probably going to need a lot of order counters. Uh, so that's what, two squares? So one, two, three, four. That's only four. And we're probably going to need more than that, I'm guessing. So, mm, that's going to be a tough decision. How much of that do I want? I can also build, finally, if we go to road work, bus stops. And these are 10 grand, so uh, these don't play around very much. So I'm going to put a bus stop uh, right here uh, and put some more customer parking here. Because this is going to be eventually... Uh, another way into our mall. So customer parking here and here, here and here. So there is the bus stop. And that will gather people just like that. Coming in. I think we had some of our workers even came in on the bus stop. That's cool. Ooh, we had a lot of sales on jewelry today. A lot of sales. Wow. Let's look at this store. 11,000 we made just from jewelry. Look at that. Half of the money that we made profit we made in jewelry. 22,000 net profit yesterday, 11,000 just in jewelry. This little store here was a great investment. All right, now the stock clerks are back and running. So hopefully get everything else stocked up so we can satisfy that demand. And hopefully we don't have another issue with our cashiers. That would be that would be bad. We do not want that to happen. Now could we could we use some of this area? For a walkway. I don't need I don't need these stores to be so big. There we go. Use right click, that'll do it. So foundation. I don't think we can build one 
so that we can build it out to there. And let's build a wall. So we want one, one, two, one here. I'm going to build a wall right across there. And objects, we want double doors. Well, let's wait for this to actually be done. Okay. And then, oh yeah, we gotta get rid of this little wall here. But they gotta get most of this done first. Okay, and then we can build another one there. And let's remove walls. Remove that one. And then assign. Okay, we've already got that cleared off. So can we build foundation out to there? Just trying to trying to normalize this whole process. And now that we've got a bus, we're actually able to move a few more people on here, which is nice. Look at that, 160, 170, 173, breaking new records all over the place now. 179, 180, 84, 85, so close. Okay. Uh, walls. I want another wall right through here. And that way, this little store, these little walkways, work to my advantage here. So we still have quite a lot that we can build, but it's going to be expensive. It's going to be really expensive. Yeah, and I think I'm going to make this... I think I'm going to make that that small store. Um, now, the other thing that we're not selling anymore, uh, first, let's remove road work. I'm going to remove all of this. All of this. Give our builders a little something to do. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make this a little store, probably tools, a little tool store right here. Um, like I said, the, the needs for tools, not very high. Um, so, you know, I think all these tools can be sold in one store, just like I do with all the clothing. Because we don't have, we're not stretched by any, you know, any bit as far as our staff goes. And we have the ability to add in more checkout people if the need arises. Uh, and this is completely sold out of shirts. That's interesting. I don't know if that was stocked or not. Hmm. Anyway, so far so good. And, oh, 186. That's a new record. Look at that. 28, 29,000 for sales. Oh, that is beautiful. Keep it going. My reputation for a store is good. Restaurants will be able to keep people here longer and even drive our sales up even more. So look at that, 31,000. We are going to blow away our current record for sales, which is a, good, a welcome change. And look at that, men's shoes doing great. I didn't think we were going to sell that many. Uh, as soon as the day rolls over, we'll we'll be able to see just how well each one of those stores did on a full day, uh, a fully manned day, anyway. So look at that, 34, another huge record, doubling our money for the day. Oh, I am loving that. Look at that. That is a beautiful curve right there on that. Uh, so look at the men's shoes, $2,000 there, $6,600 for women's shoes, and $2,000 for 
Buggy's Secret Lingerie Store. Uh, and how did our jewelry store do? $10,000 in jewelry. Cookware's still making money. Uh, how is this going? Little little loss, 89 bucks, not bad. A little profit for our meat market and still a profit for the Grub and Go, which is by far our highest volume store. Um, still, the liquor and the wine store are struggling to make a profit, but all of the other stores should be doing pretty good. Cosmetics is doing good. Uh, let's see, smartphones doing great. And the electronics store, look at that, 8000 for that store. So far, so good. The mall is making some money. And now our original store is no more. We no longer need uh, that store right here because we are starting to cater to all needs uh, with our one store here. So that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.